Okay, so today we're going to make um, a classic traditional fish and chips with one of my favourite fish, cod. The first thing we need to do is uh, to get the chips on. We want to simmer them for about five minutes and then we drain them and let them cool naturally in the air before we fry them. And the best thing to do is to do that a couple of hours before because I just think it's nice to have a nice dry chip before you put it into the fryer and you get a lovely crispy finish. So put the potatoes into the water, uh, cold water, the reason for that if you put them into hot boiling water you end up all the potatoes breaking and still raw in the centre and we want them cooked right through. The next thing we're going to do is make the um, tartar sauce and the first thing you need to do is to make a classic mayonnaise. Now mayonnaise is our emulsions and basically it means you emulsify an egg yolk with acid and with oil you know, and you have to make sure you do it slowly at first otherwise you will split the um, ingredients. So first thing you need to split your eggs. Now what we've got in there is three egg yolks. Then we need to take our English mustard and a couple of dashes of uh, white wine vinegar. Now obviously uh, whisking by hand is quite an arduous job. So to help you, the best thing to do is to get a, white, a wet tea towel and form yourself a little circle. And that'll hold the bowl in, in place so that it gives you a free hand to put your oil in. So slowly we add the oil, a few drops at a time. If you were to split it, basically you take the split ingredients, get a fresh egg yolk and put it into a new bowl, a, dash of, a little dash of vinegar and then start the whole process again, adding the split mixture and you'll um, have success with a freshly emulsified mayonnaise. So that's um, all the oil incorporated. And what you're looking for is a consistency of very thick custard. If you like it a little bit thicker, you can add more oil. If you like it a little bit, obviously looser, you just add less oil. So once you've got your mayonnaise made and you've got it to the consistency you like, the next thing we need to do is chop the capers and the gherkins and then get the herbs in there, which is the tarragon, the chervil, the parsley and the chives. You're gonna add all them into the mayonnaise. Sometimes when you add the ingredients to the mayonnaise, the vinegar will let the mayonnaise down, so you may have to add a little bit more oil to it. Okay, so at this point we just add our seasoning, our salt and pepper. So, most important part is to taste the tartar sauce. And if you're happy with it, get it in the fridge until we finish cooking. So whilst you're making your tartar sauce, keep an eye on your chips. When you insert the knife, it's just a little bit soft, but you still want a little bit of firmness there as well. When you go to that stage, it's after about six minutes, you want to take them off, drain them, and put them onto a tray to cool down. Next thing is the beer batter. So we've got our flour, we've got some sugar, we've got some uh, fresh yeast. We've also got some Doombar beer, which is my, one of my favorites. Um, you can use lager, you could use any other beer, but you know, Doombar's for me. So first thing you do is add the flour and the sugar. Then we've got crumbling in our uh, fresh yeast. And then gently, we add the beer. And what you're after is nice smooth batter. If you added all the beer at once, you wouldn't get a chance to make a paste first. So you're after a paste before you add it, or otherwise you end up with lumps. Okay, so finally we add a little bit of salt and a touch of pepper. Then we cover that with a tea towel and leave it for 10 minutes before we cook with it. The reason why I like cod for fish and chips is it has lovely white, flaky, pearly sort of flesh and it works very, very well with fish and chips. Okay, so this is how you may get your fish from the fishmongers. So at this stage you will still have the skin on it, you'll still have a few pin bones in there. These pin bones you really want to remove because they will get stuck in your throat. So an easy way to do that is not to struggle with a pair of pliers, is actually to cut them out. And um, for fish and chips, that's perfectly acceptable. And to skin it, I'll just show you now. The easiest way is just to come along the centre where the, where the bones are, like so. As you can see, you've still got the skin on there. But what you've got is something workable. So knife in at the end to the skin. And there you have the skin at the bottom. And all you need to do is Firmly hold on to the bit you, where you've cut. Don't move it and use the sharp knife to come all the way along the fillet, like so. Then what you've got is a lovely loin of cod, which you now can portion for your fish and chips. So the bottom side, which is the belly of the fillet, 
just you have to remove all this uh, it's almost like a sinew it's the actual inside of the belly which is not very nice to eat so we remove that and then the bones are still in there so we just need to find where the bones are using your sharp knife come along the center again just cutting them bones out and then the same as we did before, just cut in at the bottom. Bring your knife along, holding onto the skin, and let the knife do the work. And you've got four nice pieces out of one fillet for your fish and chips. All those trimmings that you've got left over, don't throw them away, stick them in the freezer. When you've got enough, make yourself a lovely fish pie. Okay, so I've got my fish ready. So the first thing you do is uh, get your chips into the fryer because we want to get them coloured off first otherwise you're going to be struggling for room in your deep fat fryer so the fryer is hot at 180 degrees now we'll seal them off for about sort of four minutes so they can start to colour up before we take them out let them cool slightly while we put the fish in so whilst the chips are cooking for four minutes we'll get on with the cod so we need to take our batter which has been resting for about 10 minutes and then we'll get some uh, flour a little bit of uh, salt in there, a touch of pepper, and then just pass your cod fillet through the flour, knock off any excess. You don't want any layers of raw flour in there, and then into the batter. Okay, so the chips have been colouring off now for about four minutes, so we'll take them out and let them drain. And now you put the cod in. Leave the cod in there for about sort of two minutes and then we'll turn them over and cook it for another three or four minutes before we add the chips back in and then hopefully we'll come up with something nice and golden brown. The cod's about three or four minutes away now so I'm going to add the chips back in uh, just to finish them off. Okay, so if you haven't got a deep fat fry you can simply just breadcrumb the fish put it through some flour, egg and breadcrumbs and then shallow fry it in a hot pan and you get roughly the same result but you know it is worth getting a deep fat fryer because fish and chips is all about the deep fat fryer. First thing you do is add a little bit of salt, drain off our peas, wedge your lemon, our cod, beautiful crispy chips, our peas, and then lovely thick tartar sauce. And there you have it, that's my cotton chips with tartar sauce and fresh peas.